No, I'm headed to Boston. Oh, <laughs> well, Kendrick came down with pink eye over the weekend. Um, so that's fun. And uh, I was checking out the exposure, like incubation time like how many days it takes for someone to get it once they've been exposed. And it's about three, one to three days. I am on my way to Sacramento. I'm actually stopped for gas right now, if you can tell. And I can feel my left eye being weird. So I'm getting pink eye probably in the middle of this trip. Yeah, not excited. Uh, my eye doesn't hurt, but it's like been twitchy. like during this drive and it just feels weird. Um, I've only had pink eye one other time in my life um, and it was as an adult and I have no idea like both Christian and I got it at the same time that time and it was just random and weird and um, yeah this is not ideal. This is not what I want and I'm pretty bummed about it but I knew that it was going around his daycare as well as strep throat. So I figured we'd get one of the two and honestly, I'd, I'd rather deal with pink eye over strep throat, as awful as that sounds. Um, Cause strep throat's pretty miserable. Pink eye's miserable. It's all miserable. Being sick is just miserable. Uh, yeah, so we've been having to give a two, almost three year old eye drops because every pharmacy around us was out of the like, the ointment that you put in the eyes because everybody has it right now so yep great I think my mom might be picking the ointment up from the pharmacy today but yeah giving a giving a, a toddler eye drops is an experience although I mean I'll give him credit he does pretty darn good like, he doesn't fight too hard. He just closes his eyes real tight. You know, but he doesn't, like, physically fight you too bad. And I can't blame him because I hate, I hate eye drops. I can't stand it. Um, I don't blame him. He takes after his mommy. My pump is done. I got to get back on the road. See you on the airplane. Boo! Oh my god, you scared me. What a jump. Okay, that was trying to be funny. Probably isn't going to translate at all well. It's 1028 on the morning of the 28th. Uh, we have an extra day in February tomorrow. How exciting. My eye feels better today. They haven't been itchy really today. So fingers crossed, I don't get pink eye. I'm just chilling in a hospital bed. Chilling in a hospital bed. Anyway, it's kind of rainy out today. It's not bad. It's warm. It's actually like nice weather. If it wasn't so windy, like, that would be... But the wind just makes it... <laughs> no thanks. Doctor's appointment's going well. Next week, I do not travel here. Uh, and the week after that, I have scans. Um, some, some good news that brings a little relief, shall we? They are definitely opening up a site for this trial in Los Angeles, which is in California, which is on the other end of my state from where I live. Now, that's a much quicker, much cheaper flight for me. Um, so, if this drug is working and I choose to stay on it, and I don't have any reason to go off of it, I will transfer to LA. 
which is gonna be weird because I've you know the only major hospital like major 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 hospital I've gone to or been a patient of in California is uh, Stanford but we don't talk about that because that wasn't great and um, I mean we can talk about it later but we don't talk about it no, not for me uh, but never have I been to a big Southern California hospital so that'll be a cool new experience if that happens um, but yeah other than you know some pain symptoms coming back and us really kind of keeping our eye on those everything's going good my blood tests still look good urine tests still look good just gotta see what my scans say next oh in two weeks I guess I'll know more in three weeks but I always read my scans I probably shouldn't do that but I like reading ahead so that I can like look at them and then have discussions with them about me I like reading them before I see the doctor so that I can ask questions about things that feel questionable to me yeah it's part of advocating for myself it's part of what I do um, my my nurse Christian uh, this is the last week I'll see him he's going off to medical school this year um, I gave him uh, one of my one of my pictures uh, to hang in his office one day and he is really grateful and just excited to see that kid go off and do great things because he's great he's great at what he does uh, and you know and it's Dr. Cote told me that if I do end up going to LA he's gonna miss me and I'm like well <laughs> that's nice I'm gonna miss you too but nothing's set in stone yet, so don't make me get all sentimental about something that might not happen. Yeah. Did I tell you that travel went well yesterday? I probably did. I probably voiced that over. I don't know. I look a little less unhinged today. <laughs> it helps when you brush your hair and you don't wear it down and you can actually put it through your hat loop. I like I really want my hair long longer than this long but oh my god is it a struggle for me I actually got some decent sleep last night I fell asleep fairly quick conked out and uh, you know I still didn't want to get out of bed this morning but that's because I was sleeping so peacefully and it felt so good but all right I've been rambling for six minutes now my flights at three I should be out of here way before then. We will see. So, ugh. okay. And my shoulder hurts today. My shoulders are sore. My shoulders be sore. I don't know if it's because of the weather, because of flying, because of driving, because of travel, because of everything. Probably everything. But they're sore. Thank you.